Hi, I'm Henry Evans, and do you want to find a secret way to get more customers for your business? Then you are in the right place. Welcome to the Hour Day Entrepreneur TV show, the only place that helps you be a better entrepreneur without wasting your valuable time. Welcome, I'm Henry Evans, the Hour Day Entrepreneur. You know, everyone's always asking about what's the latest secret technique and way to get more customers. So I'm gonna make this the theme for the next few episodes to reveal some of those super secret ninja techniques to get new customers. Now, of course, you can view them all by visiting www.ourday.tv or check out our channel on YouTube. Now, first, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's get that out of the way. Now, the elephant in the room is nothing more than a marketing term for dealing with the big issue right off the bat without trying to hide anything. So when I'm asked about, hey Henry, what's the secret marketing technique to get all the customers I want? The real secret is, and yes, you probably guessed it, there is no secret. Now one of my favorite stories that best explains this involves working with a gentleman who actually opens up dental offices. He goes city to city, starts from scratch, opens up a dental office, and in a month or two, could actually generate 100 new patients per month. Now in case you aren't familiar, this is a lot of patients to generate each month if you are a dental practice. Now, everyone wanted to know his secret. How do you get 100 new patients a month? How do you do it? What do you do? How do you do it? But the real secret was to see there was not just one thing that generated 100 patients. There were actually 100 things that each generated one. So the secret for you this week is simply try more in your marketing. Test more things out than any of your competitors do. Now, I love it when I hear someone say, I tried advertising or I tried direct mail and it didn't work. Now, what exactly does that mean? You tried it and you gave up because it didn't work the first time? Now, if you had 1% of the dedication and tenacity it took to walk when you were a baby, then you would realize that you must try and then try and then try again. Advertising and direct mail both can work very, very well when they're done right. One-time wonders are very rare in business. Those people will get it right immediately the very first time. Most all of us as entrepreneurs actually fail forward. It takes trial and error. So the sooner you start making mistakes, the faster you're gonna start getting great results. And guess what? If you've tried something before, you might find it works better today. So try it again. You got nothing to lose, especially if you find a mentor to help you do it smarter than you did it last time. Now, a quick example in a contest I heard on a marketing CD. Now, this contest, they were actually interviewing a restaurant owner on how she was able to turn around her struggling business into one of the most profitable restaurants in her small town in just a matter of months. Now, here's a partial list of things they covered on the call that she did in one single three-month period. Okay, she put together a marketing calendar, she computerized her database, she implemented sequential mailings, started using voice broadcast, she implemented a loyalty slash rewards program. She started doing comment cards on every table, started sending out birthday greetings to her clients' customers, started cold birthday card mailers, which is mailing them out to people that you don't know as promotions. She did all sorts of promotions. I won't go into all of them, but many of them were tied to holidays. She began a restaurant survey, started doing a secret shopper promotion, created a newsletter, started a formal referral program, systematized her thank you system. Man, this is just, this is impressive just going through this. She did more lead generation ads. She had new and changed pricing and tried different pricing. She tried new packaging. She implemented a continuity program and she did joint ventures with other businesses and endorsed mailings. Now, I don't tell you this to scare you, but it probably did but to implore you to not look for the magic bullet when it comes to solving your business problems. And don't close your mind off to trying things you may have tried before, but that now you need to try in a better and in a smarter way. It takes a lot of activity and trying a lot of ideas to be successful. And that's a big reason why you wanna be around other people who are already doing well and making things happen. So you can learn from them, all that good stuff will rub off on you, and you should constantly be watching thought-provoking videos like this, listening to audios, reading books, and expanding your own thinking. So with all of that, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Hour Day Entrepreneur TV. Get out there and try some new marketing activities this week for your business. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us online 
at OurDay.tv. And next week, we're going to talk about how to generate even more sales. So this is Henry Evans, and remember, you're just one focused hour away from achieving your dreams. And hey, we'll see you next time. Big a roll.